A pessimist sees difficulty in every opportunity, but a optimist sees opportunity in every difficulty. So, hello and welcome to yet another session of SSB Crack Talks. Myself, Drishti Goyal, and today we'll be talking with one such candidate who sees opportunities in all his difficulties. Went for various entries like TES, 10 plus 2 Navy entry, AFK entry, and technical entries, and. Finally got recommended in his sixth attempt is go and is going to join the Indian Military Academy very soon. So let us welcome Mr. Krishna Pandey, who has recently got recommended from 11 SSB Allahabad for PGC 137th course, and he will share his experience with us. Hi, Krishna. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm also good. And first of all, many congratulations. Finally, you have got recommended for TGC course. And you'll be joining prestigious IMA very soon. Yeah. Um, I really appreciate you uh, saying that. Uh, and yeah. I, feel, I feel elated that I've gotten recommended. Okay, great. And how did you feel when you heard your name, like chest number being called, and finally you informed your parents? How was the feeling? To be honest, it was uh, quite a, I would say, a moment of shock. I did not uh, like expect it. It was not expected at all. So when he like the first chest number he announced was chest number three, and I did not stand up. I was just sitting there. He again said loudly chest number three. Then I was like, I I suddenly got up and I said, October eighth, two thousand one, Krishna Pandey sir. And that moment was the moment for me. And I had uh, tears in my eyes as I went and stood there. So it was definitely a very one of the greatest experiences in my life. All right. So, yeah. as I was talking with you, and I got to know about your journey of SSB. You have got recommendation in your sixth attempt. Or up to 12th level, say, Jarit SSB. You went to TS entry, you went to Navy 10 plus 2 entry, you went to FCAT entry. So, how was right. this experience? Like, you had experience of all the boards, be it Army, Navy, or Air Force. And except from that, you had. Uh, experience of uh, 12th level entries and graduate level entries. So, kaisa experience how much differentiation aapko laga in entries? Mean, if yes, then what? Well, so, I would say there are certainly differences when it comes to uh, different boards. And I think uh, um, the entries in 12th, they require a little um, less maturity also. Like, they give you leeway. Okay, um, so consider it. Even if you like mess up on a little things, they consider. But I think that graduate entries jo hai sari, uske andar they require you to be like giving mature answers. And I think they like expect a lot more from a graduate than from an undergraduate. So, uh, sorry, from a student in class 10 plus 2 or something like that. So, I think more difference aata hai. Uske alawa, written entries or technical entries may be difference aata hai. Based, like uh, written entries may they generally ask you a few technical questions. But this is a major TGC 137 ka interview. Tha. I had a barrage of technical questions that they asked me. And I am saying barrage, that means a barrage. So, wo difference are definitely the our experience. Okay, so I'll come back to this particular part definitely because many technical people like who are going for technical entries have this doubt that what type of technical questions come. And I will come to this interview in your time. Pe. Pele will talk right. about your returns. Like you have cleared your AFK and you have cleared your CDS exams. So, what was your uh, strategy for the writing, uh, like a written examination? Right. So, uh, I would like to give this a very special highlight because I've got a method. Like there's a book called Aris Agrawal, Pathfinder. We've got a lot of books for, let's say, mathematics section. For, first, right. I'll just talk about the math mathematics section first. So, uh, a book in there, I saw that approximately like 4,000 questions, hai, let's say. So I, yeah. I made it a goal to do 50 questions a day. And no matter what day it is, I would do 50 questions. Be it a Sunday, be it a holiday, be it a festival also. So that is how I was able to keep the consistency in mathematics. Or mathematics, I will tell you, I followed a book called R.S. Agarwal. Okay. Quantity I finished that book in like about two and a half months. 50 questions a day I used to do. Sometimes I over it like I did 60, 75. So I think that is the part which gave me a lot of confidence because I So I let's say there are 20 questions of mathematics. 
I yeah. start from mathematics because I'm that's so that I'm going to attempt all. Serious me also this is GK ka I'm I'm really weak in GK. So GK me mera goal hai tha ki 30 marks tak aaye. But then in mathematics me I cover it up by um, margin like 60 marks score karne ki 50 marks score karne ki koshish karta hu. Similarly for the English I would like to say that I've done a lot of previous year question papers so that boosted my score a lot. And this is my strategy that I like uh, finish one subject at a time. So we have taken a maths block. So I'll finish up mathematics and I'll take another subject, for example, science. So not taking more than two subjects at a time and I'll finish them in blocks, like mathematics done. Then I will only practice mock tests subsequently. So yes, strategy it has tremendously helped me in clearing the series. Okay, and so yes. instead of starting all the subjects at one go, you're taking two subjects at a time. completing them within the required time frame and coming back to other two right 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 okay. also uh, the consistency consistency thing like 50 questions a day that is a set target now you don't deviate from it so that is the thing so how much time it will take no matter right you will complete those 50 anyhow right like uh, if those 50 questions are easy it takes me about 30 minutes or if they are hard it can take me about 3 hours so uh my studying is not time based but it is based upon the goal as in all right great okay can you please okay tell about your routine during the preparation time or during your ssb times which helped you or kept you motivated for the upcoming ssbs right so for specifically ssb as such i have not done much preparation but i'll tell you that i uh, followed a very systematic routine that has helped mm-hmm. me a lot like um uh during the lockdown periods i utilized that time uh, like very wisely i would say and i did a lot of studies for the written part but at the same time i was meditating for like 20 minutes uh in the morning 20 minutes in the evening right from apart from the meditation there's another thing that i used to do is write journal every day so that made me really appreciate all the things around me and it uh help me to know myself better so that is another part of the routine that i think was essential to me getting recommended also uh, i used to play sports every day and from sports i mean sometimes we would go play volleyball in the evening and sometimes cricket so any sport it it might be as simple as just going out and playing badminton but i think sports keeps you fit and other than that it builds group cohesion like uh, the group uh, like the feeling of uh, sportsmanship and like the the group a- activities bring us together and that really helps in the gto part because there too you meet strangers and you have to perform in a group so mere hisab se playing sports is a crucial activity that uh, you know helps you reach the stage of recommendation so these are the things in my routine that i wanted to highlight okay as you said you were uh, writing the journal i think that is a very good part na we are able to like recollect what we have done in the entire day so i hope every aspirant should start journaling if they are not doing it and they can take this motivation from you okay so now we'll be coming up on to your ssb part so as you have been to ssb six times and you have seen different phases of being screened out being conferenced out and being recommended as well. and so how was it when you got screened out and how did you prepared yourself for screening in the upcoming attempt that finally you got screened in and and yes recommended for example uh, in my earlier attempts i did not know that oir uh, like held a lot of importance because i had got misguided from a few repeater friends also ki oir does not matter and all but then again i did my own research and i asked a lot of assessors also so they told me the oir holds a lot of importance so i prepared for the oir using youtube videos and uh, there's a very good book by ssb crack also that you can refer to and so yeah like i think about screening as four test so as soon as i'm there in the ssb my first target is i have to get 85% questions right in the oir itself so that will boost my confidence for the upcoming test so whenever i go for the ssb first task is oir done as soon as i'm done with the oir and i prepared very well for the oir so 
uh, that boosts up my confidence for the upcoming test. Always and every time. So this is how I got from getting screened out to getting screened in consecutively. So after that, the next test comes your story, uh, the picture perception test. So picture perception, ke liye, I think the best advice that was given to me is do not write wishful stories. Write regular stories that are you know easily can be seen in real life as well. If uh, story is realistic, hogi, you have got a better chance of getting screened. Then. And I think if you can relate to personal life, se relate ka sakte ho, that is the best thing in a picture perception. So that is what I try to do in the picture perception test. Um, so now TA2 or picture perception, ke liye same strategy hai meri. I'll just tell you what it is. So as soon as I see the picture, I do not look at, look at it for more than 10 seconds. But in 10 seconds, I grasp everything from the number of characters or background catch and what what uh, like the theme ki theme kya hai? like theme is like they are going for an adventure its theme is accident theme maybe group studies theme maybe awareness camp Phir uske se i decide the main character the hero so student cannot be like a 10th class student who is helping out the people like adults it should be somebody who can perform that action so a doctor would be good like some people uh, say an NCC cadet studying in an engineering college or something like that. That is also fine, I think. Because when you are saying NCC cadet, you are also implying that he's trained in some regard. So I think the implication is also enough. So like according to the theme, you have to decide the hero as well. So this is about the picture perception test. Two words I would like to state here, like two sentences I would like to say here, is that the hero should have the skill to perform the action and the will to act upon the situation. So these are the two things that keep in mind in short. Right. After that, after that, the next test is uh, picture person and description test. So discussion may I try to give three to four points and I try not to be like overbearing in the group and that gets me screened. That's it. Okay. So you have summed it up in a very uh, less words actually. So exactly the point is around being around the picture and the realistic world as well. Hai na? Right. All right. Okay. Now we'll go to the stage two. Hai na? So there are three tasks in stage two. Your psych test, your personal interview and your GTO. Right. So which one was the best for you and which one you thought that you could have improved a little bit? Okay. So I think the GTO was really fantastic. I think I performed excellently in the GTO. Mm-mm. And personal interview, I think I need a little bit more, you know, practice and a uh, little bit more opening up. Okay, uh, so we'll start with the personal interview only. Okay, okay. Abhi, you recently went for the technical entry and as you have told, bizarre of technical questions were there. So first, can you please highlight what type of questions like your stream and what type of questions, especially from the technical background were asked? A rapid fire of my personal life, my education. And in that regard, I got stuck some, sometimes, like I forgot the question. Like uh, the interviewing officer, he asked me like that uh, sequence and I'm not exaggerating. And I like answered seven, eight of them. And then I said, sir, I forgot the questions, I'm sorry. And that's, that's how the interview started off. So it gave me a little bit like, oh no, I've already messed it up before even beginning. So, okay, then he repeated the questions. Then again, I answered. But then again, he asked me another rapid fire about my education. So then I again, like I forgot the question. I said, sir, I'm sorry, I forgot the question. So uh, I'll briefly tell about my interview. So as soon as the interview started, uh, the interviewing officer asked me a rapid fire on my personal life. And there were a series of 12 to like 12 questions. And I got stuck after answering like seven, eight questions. And I was like, I'm sorry, sir, I forgot the questions. Then again, he repeated those questions. Then again, I answered them. Then there was a rapid fire about my education. In that also, he asked me a lot of questions, out of which a lot, like few of them I forgot. And he said, gentlemen, did you forget any questions? I said, I think I forgot a few questions. And I'm sorry, sir. Uh, I'm not doing this intentionally. And he smiled and he said, gentlemen, are you nervous? I said, sir, I'm very nervous. And then he asked me, like, go ahead, have a cup of water. And I had water. Then I like, sat down like calmly then again uh, it started the questions 
then okay i was answering a few questions here and there then i'll tell you what he started asking me about my stream he asked right. me what engineering did you do i said i have done my engineering in mechanical engineering sir so he said okay so what options do we have after finishing mechanical engineering then i answered like i gave him a few answers that sir i can go into thermodynamics i can switch and go to um, automobiles i can go to hvac and i can go into refrigeration air conditioning and all, all these things so after that then started the series of technical questions he asked me what's my favorite subject in mechanical engineering what's my least favorite subject so these general questions i answered that my least favorite so aisa kuch nahi hai but the subject that i found the hardest was mechanical vibrations because sir it has a lot of calculus and it's a very complex subject in my opinion then sir asked me a rapid fire of questions from mechanical vibrations like he was like okay tell me what are vibrations tell me the types of vibrations tell me the vibrations you will see in an automobile how are the ways that you will fix these vibrations and those sorts of questions so he asked me all the questions uh, related to that subject that was uh, that i was the weakest at so this was the type of technical questions he asked another type of technical questions that he asked me was related to my final year project like the minor project and major project that we do i told him that we had created an air purifier and humidifier he asked me where did i get the inspiration from is the idea original how have you impl- implemented your own ideas to it towards it so was a uh, answer for many technical questions and i will be honest a lot of technical questions i could not answer because um i answered like initial 7 to 8 questions of technical questions after that when he started getting into the very little details when i did not know i just said sir i'm sorry this is my limited knowledge as per now but i will go and uh, brush up my knowledge on these questions so i think that is a good way of handling like when you don't know the answer great so like people generally have this doubt no ki kaise question puchte so basically it will be coming from your own subjects है ना ऐसा नहीं है कि आप मैकेनिकल से तो आपको इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स के क्वेश्चंस पूछ रहे हैं राइट फ्रॉम योर ओन स्ट्रीम बट वो आपको बेसिक ब्रशअप होना चाहिए राइट ओके बट देर एनी काइंड ऑफ लाइक ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन विच यू फाइंड दट यू आर अनेबल टू आंसर बट साम हाउ यू हैंडल ओके सो देर फ्यू सिचुएशन रियक्शन इंटरव्यू so my i told him that my father has a business of furniture so he asked me that your father is gone out somewhere and you have to sit on the shop yourself said, okay sir he told me that a person comes and he's very furious he's furious that the uh, the furniture that he wants is damaged and he does not want it and you know some sort of problem with his furniture he did not specify the problem although then how will i handle it i told him that sir i will try to uh, get the information about what uh, his problem is main dekhunga ki kaise issue ko resolve kar sakta hu and i will ask for some time unne bola okay then uh, sir then main papa ko call karunga so he said no you cannot call your father your father is busy main, okay sir then i'll call my uncle he is also in the same business no your uncle is busy as well you cannot call your uncle then i said okay sir then i will contact the like suppliers that uh, supply the furniture to him. he said no your phones are broken like he was like a little like that you know your phones are broken i said okay sir then i said sir meri dukaan pe there are workers that have better expertise in this so i asked the workers from the shop ki kaise issue ko fix karna so they no there is nobody then what will you do then i said okay sir no worry i will tell him to give me the problem i will write it down and i will ask for a day i will say give me a day and look into it he says no i want it right now i want it right now as per so when i will ask then sir i will ask for a few hours give me few hours he says no you cannot get few hours then uh like i said okay sir then i will give him refund complete refund of the thing then sir was like a little taken aback like you will give refund I said no, sir. I'm not going to give the refund in uh, actual life, but 
I'll try to fix it, and I'm sure I will be able to fix it. But this question makes me want to give it my refund. <laughs> so like, something like that, and he also started laughing. So it was not like a very you know uh, serious thing. Uh, like the interview was, there were quite a mostly just you know the interviewing officer was also like smiling and laughing. And likewise, I was also doing the same. तो ये क्वेश्चंस थे इसमें के दो तीन ऐसा आर्टिस्ट थे मेरे इंटरव्यू में लाइक दैट ही आस्क एंड आई हैंडल्ड देम प्रीटी वेल आई वुड से एंड इवन इफ देयर आर ट्रिकी क्वेश्चंस दैट यू डोंट नो द आंसर ऑफ यू कैन जस्ट सिंपली से सर आई हैव नॉट हर्ट ऑफ इट लाइक कुछ पर्सनल लाइफ के भी ट्रिकी क्वेश्चंस होते हैं सो यू कैन आई थिंक देयर इज अ गुड आंसर दैट आई हैव नॉट हर्ट ऑफ इट बट सर आई विल पॉन्डर अपॉन इट एंड सर आई विल कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन एट द कॉन्फ्रेंस देयर आर सर्टेन थिंग्स दैट पीपल जनरली से सर आई विल ब्रश ऑफ माय नॉलेज these are the things that you can say when you get a question that you have no idea about all right exactly so you have covered this part very good hai na agar nahi pata hai to directly bol sakte ki we don't know instead of saying something or the other and wasting hours and his time right okay now i right, ask sir. you about one specific question like in the end of the interview generally interviewer ask you about any question you want to know from him or any suggestion you had for the board so what uh, answer did you gave to these type of questions the interviewing officer asked me like do you have any questions and i think at that time when i thought i thought uh, i did not answer a lot of questions as i told right like i was not able to so i was a little like nervous so i said no sir nothing in particular i do not have any questions sir so he smiled and he asked me you know i insist candidate if you have any questions you can ask me and i was like uh no sir not at the moment sir thank you so much thank you was like that kind of thing i did not generally i think uh, a lot of people have told me if your interview goes very well in your opinion like your interview has gone very good then you may ask a question or two not a personal question to him but a very general question do not do not ask him about himself or how the interview went i think that is a terrible mistake that can you know lead to a lot of negative marks in the interview but other than that if your interview has not gone substantially good in your opinion it has like uh, you, you think you could have performed better i think it is better not to ask a question at that moment that's I, that's what i think okay right so now i'll ask about you about your gto yeah yeah i was saying so now, about the board yeah yeah please, please ask please. me the question yeah. yeah i think we should not criticize the board ever like some people go and so this is the problem this is the problem like so the taps are not working properly the water is not hot enough so i think these petty issues should not be mentioned in the interview or in the conference i think yeah exactly because if you cannot like take these small things right it will be very difficult to adjust in the defense afterwards right 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 yeah so now i'll ask about your gt as you said that it was the best for you na So let's start yeah. with what type of topics have you got in your GD, and what were the topics in your lecture, and what basis you decided to what topic you want to speak upon. Right. So in the group discussion, the topics were about like what is the what are the key factors that led to the India's growth? Is it the space sector? Is it the medical sector? Is it the population? So very general topics. I think the mm-hmm. topics that. any person with the little bit of general awareness can handle but initially i'll tell you in my group there were like already recommended candidates there were people with 11 conferences so that was a group that was kind of like intimidating if that's the word to use it so they they all started speaking all at once everyone was speaking knowledgeable people very knowledgeable people in my group so i could not speak at first i waited for two or them to give them give give their points like two or three points they gave after that i started speaking because after till that point i was like framing my own thoughts about the topic and all then i spoke uh, for about four, three to four times i i would say and i did not speak for very long although i was like contributing towards the ideas i was giving ideas also but uh, then again I think I spoke a little less in the first GD. So to rectify that, I spoke a little bit more in the second GD. The topic was again uh, similar. What can lead to India's growth 
in the future it was like india's space program again and it was the um, like modernization and infrastructure something like that these were the leads that were given to us so we covered the topic very holistically i think and we talked about manufacturing sector and privatization and all these topics also we brought as to what can lead to india's more success in the future about the lecture rates the topic that i chose was fdi in manufacturing sector the other okay. topics that were listed in my um, the, 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 the chit we get the lecture chit that we get the first topic was fdi in manufacturing sector the second one was i think medical tourism or something and third one was the act east policy and again there is a fourth one like my favorite teacher and all so i chose the first topic because i thought the topic selection in the lecture is very crucial exactly because yeah like some people choose my favorite teacher then you speak for 2 minutes and you're like what else can i speak on my favorite teacher you yourself do not know about them so much that you can speak more than like three minutes four minutes so it's not a very good topic to choose in my opinion if you are not getting any other options then you can go to the fourth topic i think other than that i chose fdi so i started my gd by like clearly mentioning that what all i'm going to cover in the next few minutes or so i said good morning gentlemen in the next few minutes or so i'm going to cover the lecture topic foreign direct investment in manufacturing sector i explained briefly what fdi means why, what is the importance of manufacturing sector what is fdi in manufacturing sector how we how we can improve like the manufacturing sector and like how can we uh, increase the fdi basically so these are the topics and how what all things government has done like to uh, get more direct investment in our country so i mentioned these points and i think it was covered very nicely in the three minutes i took like time took my time to introduce the topic as well that is right. about the gdn lecture okay so how did you prepare for this gdn lecture uh, before like going for the ssb okay so the about the group discussions i will just be very plain and honest i used to sit with my family in the night everyone was watching news everyone watches news i am in a joint family so chacha and papa hum bed jaate hain news dekhte hue and then we talk about the topics like they give their opinions i give my opinions ab wo hindi mein dete hain although in uh, ssb the language to be used is english but uh, aise mm-hmm. hindi mein hum baat karte hain so at least i learn a lot kaafi sare and what all we can speak so this is one thing uh, getting awareness youtube pe bahut sare channels that can make give you a lot of information so information plays a very important part here in the group discussions and lectures so that is one thing key information play you are referring to news and youtube channels and news also for the hesitation of speaking and all i think uh, like our college friends also some of them are preparing for defense so we also used to sit and have group discussions sometimes in person is better than online the reason i am telling not online because online everyone tends to behave more civilized and in the group discussion when we are in person like people like are eager to give their points i've seen people like get off their chair almost like on the edge of the chair while in a group sheet like the group discussion so that thing you should know how to tackle there are for certain things like if somebody speaking 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 i think you should say gentlemen i tend to agree with your point and then you start your own point like you have to find spaces between the uh, like if i'm speaking there will be pauses that i'm taking so in those pauses you have to start so that is i think a very crucial thing where a lot of candidates have the hesitation you have to interrupt sometimes when you have to speak in the gd so that is what i'm trying to say and not to speak too much also that is something that you have to Okay, so there was a candidate. He like he knew every single thing. I would say like he was so well prepared about the GD topics and all. But the issue with him was like he was too overbearing. Like of course he had the knowledge, the factual knowledge, but he spoke way too much, and that ate up the group's time. I think that is something that we should um, cut down a right. bit. If we are yeah giving other chances, like other chances. right basically knowledge is one thing but your group coordination matters a lot right right 
ओके सो आई आस्क अबाउट द ग्राउंड टास्क है ना सो ग्राउंड टास्क का हाउ वॉज इट एंड एज आई नो दैट यू हैव प्रिपेयर बाई योर ओन सो वट माइंड सेट यू हैड एंड वट टाइप ऑफ थिंग हेल्प यू इन योर ग्राउंड टास्क ओके सो फॉर द ग्राउंड ग्राउंड टास्क मोस्टली मैंने यूट्यूब पे वीडियोस देखे थे उसके एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट दे आर वेरी सिंपल प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ एवरीथिंग इफ यू हैव टू क्रिएट अ स्ट्रक्चर व्हाट डू यू नीड यू नीड अ सपोर्ट ऑन विच यू कैन सपोर्ट द प्लान एंड वन एंड शुड बी फिक्स दिस इज द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल नाउ यू गो देयर यू ऑब्जर्व द स्ट्रक्चर यू माइट नॉट गेट इट इन फर्स्ट ट्राई सेकंड ट्राई थर्ड ट्राई बट आई थिंक if you are observant enough if you are keen you are looking out for the veggies and the little grooves that they have made the provisions they have given to fix the plant i think you will get an idea there only agar you are paying attention so i think the major part of the ground task like the pgt agt fgt even the command task is your awareness like how you are looking at things if you are observing keenly you will definitely get the idea there only you just need to know the basic principle of the levers like uh, there is a support that you need to support the plant and there there's there needs to be a stopper other than that everything you can go there only don't have to prepare much for it in my opinion although it is always better to refer to a coaching academy where they teach you how to build the structures and all i could not do it because of my college i'm still pursuing my engineering so i could not like go to a coaching academy and give my time there also but youtube videos definitely helped me a lot in this regard okay say. what kind of physical standards you think one should maintain for the ground task okay this one i think is a very crucial thing often looked upon by people you are going for defense course you are going for a place where you need a lot of physical stamina and endurance so i think you should perform very good in the group obstacle race as well your physical fitness should be seen in every single thing that you do there on the ground like uh, talking about the individual obstacles there are 10 thing you should always overshoot you should do 12 should do 13 like for my case i did 12 individual obstacles in this attempt and they were done very like i was not panting after it like i was not like so tired that um i cannot stand up and all so you should be comfortably able to do 10 of them it is always better if you do them you know more than 10 also it is not just about individual obstacles and the group obstacle race it's also about uh, the entire duration in the gto ground actually ma'am there on the uh, ground you are not allowed to walk you can only exactly. run from here to there yeah so if you are panting in in that much like they told you move from this shape to that shape and you are panting in that i think that shows a very negative quality that you are coming for an interview for armed forces and you are panting in such a short duration that does not seem like a very good impression so i think utmost physical level should be there and i will like to tell one thing in the group obstacle race particularly that happened with me i think this is one of the things that uh, stood out in the gto when i was there so what happened was uh, there is a wall that we have to climb it's a big wall okay. the group has to climb i was climbing last because i think i got a little physical strength and i was helping the other candidates like they were putting me and there was another uh, candidate they were, we were pushing guys up the wall and last he also got up i came running and i got on the wall all alone without any support like i stepped on the wall once twice and then like took my hands and stood up and actually my group was surprised they were like man you climb that wall all by yourself that is pretty impressive so i think that boosted the confidence then again i tell you what happened then there's a log it be moti usko cross karna rehta hai group i went then uh, i was in the middle i was like this guy uh, it has some issue with balancing so i gave him my hand but he pulled back and i took a fall from that height fall like i i got on balance because i was he he was giving his hand and i gave my hand but he pulled his hand behind so i felt i took a very like i would say is like 10 feet i don't know 10 feet i don't know so i fell down on the 
they said everyone gas like as a reference and i was like okay nothing little bruises won't like uh, stop me i got up suddenly like even i did not get give them the time to react even like within 3 seconds i was up and i was climbing the wall again so this is the thing that they see i think how fast can you recover after you have taken a good big fall yeah and i just smiled it i just dusted myself off and smiled okay well done so what so basically that calm and composed composure of yours hai na then the like you were not stressed at all hai na ki ho jayega theek hai koi baat nahi hai other people are like ek bar gir gaya to it's like end of the thing ki hum se galti ho gaya right so basically you were never give up attitude will help you out in these task right yeah yeah and just one more point i would like to add please like there are certain obstacles like the tiger leap right well yeah. it's a it's a good amount of high if you fall you are definitely you might break your bone even might you will get abrasions your hands might tear up completely so these are the things that they check your courage on, on the commando walk everyone it was like it was little shaky the commando walk so we had to go on top of there and you we have to shout commando right commando then our chest number what i did as soon as i got to the top you know i just stayed there as an ikimer rush kara i stayed there, okay i stayed for a good amount of time five seconds i like commando chest number 3 and i was like confident and then i walked down slowly so i think that is also seen somewhere that like how is he like is he getting afraid of that high also in the tiger jump like everyone has a hesitation here if i fall if you fall you fall you are not going to die so so basically i think you should not be afraid of these things if it is a tiger jump just go and jump nothing else just jump just do it so i think that also can be seen in your actions all right so you have maintained yourself uh, in such a physical manner that you are able to go do good in these tasks right right, right. all right okay now i'll ask about the conference so after so many attempts it was like your conference again and i think there might be some questions from your previous attempts as well so if yes then what type of questions were asked from your previous attempts oh okay so it's actually quite surprising that in my conference it was a quite a short conference because i think i had like not done so well in the personal interview because I, as i told you like i fumbled yeah. quite a lot in the first interview so and i was like it was going uh, backwards order like 27 and 26.5 all the way to 4 3 2 1 so okay. my my chest number was 3 so you can understand i was like on i was just waiting and you would not believe every person had a long wait before me then i sat down and i was hopeless to be honest i'm i'm saying this like uh, blatantly honestly that i did not think i would make it this time because i think i fumbled quite a lot in the interview and that was in my head still although i was just calm ki thi ke there are other attempts as well i can always come back and give it then uh, came my chance it was like very short wait of 2 3 minutes i was like are sure i'm I'm done this time. I'm not getting selected. It was such such a short wait. Yeah, I I go in there in the conference. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Krishna. Sit down. Uh, so I sit down. He asked me um, first question. He asked me in five lines. Tell me about your stay in this facility in five lines. So I clearly remember. I said that this has been a very beautiful facility. First of all, the memories that I've made are like. like edged in my heart and i have made a lot of memorable uh, like m- there are memorable moments that i'm going to cherish for my life the friends that i've made so i will be in touch with them for a very long time so i've made good friends sir. and so gto was very fun then i said this He's like tell me that's only three lines tell me two more like you were like that <laughs> so i was like okay sir So the wet canteen and the juice and bar cafe that we have, it's a very good facility here that we have got. The cyber cafe is also very good because I got to talk to my brother after my interview. So, so these are the things that I like, and the infrastructure of this uh, SSB, sir, I really like it. There's a zone of inspiration 
and there are places we can go around. So it's a very beautifully made like center. Okay, gentlemen. So you said GTO was fun. How was GTO fun? <laughs> Sir, GTO was fun because uh, I enjoyed it the most. Okay, okay, what did you enjoy the most? Which were the two tasks that you enjoyed the most in the GTO? Sir, the group obstacle race, I enjoyed it very much. And the individual obstacles also I enjoyed very much. Okay, okay gentlemen. So you must, must have seen the GTO of your group. So tell me the name of three candidates that you think performed very well. So I took a pause. Sir, okay. So gentlemen, um, chest number, gentlemen, chest number uh, four and chest number six and chest number eight it was. Yeah. So, or maybe I said seven instead of six. Um, I said seven, I'm sorry. I said chest number seven, chest number four and chest number eight. Yeah. These are the chest numbers I called. So he said, okay, not chest number three. I was chest number three. So, um, I said, no, sir, he also performed very well. He also performed very well. But that's my list. So, we'll say, okay, but I'm only going to recommend three of you. Now tell me the list. Now tell me the updated list. I said, the list remains the same. I No changes. So, he was, he laughed. He, he like, he chuckled. He said, okay, thank you. It was lovely talking to you. And then I just went about it. That was the thing. Of course, there was this question also, like, how was your stay in the SSB? Yeah. I said, so it was perfect. Yeah, perfect. No no problems at all. Everything good. Even though I'll be honest, our RO was not fixed for three days. So we, we were drinking kind of, you know, water was not tasting good. But it's okay. You you, you have to bear with it, you know. So that was the context. So which board did you go? It was 11 SSB Alabama. All right. Okay. And uh, how many people got recommended? Okay. So surprisingly, eight people got it. And okay. out of the eight people, out of the eight people, four were previously recommended. Three were um, repeaters and only one fresher. So this was the statistic of our conference. All right. So it has been a very good uh, journey for you in this SSB, right? Now I'll be asking about your medical. So how like did you thought about the medical? How did it went? And what kind of suggestion would you be giving to people who will be appearing for the SSB regarding the medical? Okay. So medicals may there's generally not a lot that you can change in a few few days, but I mm -hmm. would suggest a few points that are basically your eyes should be, you know, eyes are the major issue. Other than that, you get temporary rejection and can be fixed also. So if your eyes are good, that's how you can give yourself a check in that. And that you get your ear wax clear. I've seen people getting, you know, uh, rejection because of the ear wax. And that is not a issue to be, begin with. So you should get your ear wax clear uh, even before you go for the medicals. Exactly. Other than that, I would suggest to work out a lot, sweat a lot basically. What I'm trying to say is run a lot and sweat a lot, drink a lot of water. That will help with the blood test and the urine test and all. So even during the stay of the five days, I would suggest everyone to keep having a lot of fluid, like water. You should be hydrated at all times. Still, uh, there are certain things that you can do. I've just said I was a bit overweight in the, the medicals. So I dieted like for three, four days before that. And you can make weight. Just before you're going, you're going a little bit dieting and all. So you can, uh, because overweight, in my group, three people have gotten overweight. That's not a big issue. That can be fixed before the medicals also. So that is something you need to keep a check of. Uskelava, um, some people got tremors, hand shivering, just because they were nervous. However, they cleared it later on in the appeal medical board. But you have to remain calm in the medical as well. That is also your test. A uh, lot of people got rejection due to high heart rate. Might be because of, you know, they are dieting since base, they are stressed out. 
they are sitting in front of an officer who is taking the so for that they got pr so i would suggest that they do calming exercise and meditation i will tell you i my vp like uh, how i did it mera aane ke pehle i was like getting a little uh, nervous and also vp was on a little upside so what i did was i did meditation exercise i did a lot of meditation and breathing and even before my medicals i was just breathing calmly just my heart rate should be low heart rate should be low and just kept breathing breathing deep breaths so that helped me with that uh, i i just you a lot of people have gotten hypertension tr one has got uh, uh, arrhythmic heartbeat ka tr so these are trs that can be avoided i think and oh. how can they be avoided by being calm these are the things that other than that ab haddiyon mein to you cannot change anything <laughs> एग्जैक्टली सो बेसिकली जो चीज आप अपना चेक में रख सकते हो वो आप बेसिक करके जाओ है ना बेटर एंड अगेन स्ट्रेस आउट होके तो वैसे भी कुछ नहीं हो सकता मेडिकल में सो इट बेटर टू बी काम एंजॉय योर ग्रुप एंड या डू इट नाइसली राइट सो इट वॉज वेरी नाइस लिस्निंग टू योर एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ यूर एस एस बी एंड आई होप यू ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट आई आस्क यू दास्ट क्वेश्चन so how was ssb crack exams helpful in your preparation per se and also what would be the final suggestion for the candidates who will be appearing for the ssb for the first time or those who have got screened out multiple times conference outs having failures and then going to be appearing for the upcoming attempts okay first uh, telling about ssb crack the site has been really very helpful the blogs and the articles that they post are fantastic and they give very related information to ssb i used a lot of the psychological uh, test kit tips jo thi i used the as like group planning exercise jo hai and for gd they've got good topics they cover news as well so ssb crack i think is a very fantastic website and it helps tremendously not just to me a lot of recommended candidates have used ssb crack for their successful you know recommendation also so <laughs> that is about that about the candidates who are going for and appearing for ssbs in the near future five things to keep in mind i'll just quickly say prepare your psychological test the pit that you are filling you should be crystal clear with every single thing even down to the very little minute details like 83 so the percentages should be clear so everything in your pit about your sports about your all activities you should be very clear about it and then that prepare your blank story sd that is helpful uske baad the major thing here is to remain calm sabse major jo main if if there is one thing i can give you is just stay calm whatever happens happens be stoic does not matter what you cannot you, you cannot control your uh, result what you can control is your exactly. own thoughts and your own feeling own feelings so this is one thing that is stood out the most is focus on what you can control what you cannot control just leave it and last thing that i was saying ki keep yourself updated with the defense uh, knowledge and uh, the general awareness that really 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 helps in the uh, group discussions and the personal interview so these are the things also will help you in the pat stories if you are aware about this these are the general tips all right so thank you so much for your kind words and it was again very nice to hear your story so all the very best i hope merit list will come very soon and you'll definitely be going to the prestigious ima very soon so all the very best don the uniform with all the confidence you have and yeah again really very happy for you i really appreciate your kind words thank you yeah. so i hope it was a very knowledgeable session for you all and you have got to know a lot many things about the technical and other entries of ssb and if you are also preparing for upcoming ssb attempts be feel free to reach out to us and we'll be there to help you out rest all the very best have a great day prepare well and get recommended soon bye bye take care and jai hind agar aap ek defense aspirant hain aur ssb interview nda cds fcat jaise exams ke liye prepare kar rahe hain to aap एस एस बी क्रैक एग्जाम के कोर्स को चेक करना ना भूलें आप हमारी लर्निंग एप्लीकेशन को गूगल प्ले स्टोर से भी डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं